guys and welcome back to the dog mom diary so now that we have mostly everything and only with a couple of sleeps left until we get our puppy today will be all about checking the home and making sure our home is ready for him to arrive so there's a couple of things that i still need to do but i think i have everything we still have a couple of orders on the way but hopefully we get everything in time and um, that's what today will be all about is checking the home and making sure that everything is ready so let's get to it Okay guys, so the first thing that I wanted to mention is the crate that we got. So I know previously I spoke about the crate and the crate that we got. Um, this one is really great because it has a side door and it has a front door so you can open it from the side. We'll be using the side door which is on this side. We'll be using the side door when we have his playpen ready so that he can use the side door to go into the playpen um, and then the front door um, when we put him into the crate. And then today I also got this cushion for him i'm not sure how he's going to feel but i i have a couple of blankets and then i have a cushion for him which is also you can wash it it's it's quite tough so it's really a good material for when he's teething um so hopefully he doesn't chew through the cushion <laughs> we'll see how it goes but this is a really tough material and that's why i got this cushion so that's the first thing so guys if you're staying in a flat like me you need to make sure that you have some artificial grass for the puppy to go potty and if you're buying artificial grass you want to make sure that they have these little holes at the bottom so that any kind of drainage and things can go through and filter through so that is the next thing on the list a proper potty area Okay guys, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about is what I did for the office. Now because I work in the mornings, I work mostly in the office, I got him a little cheap bed. Now this isn't like his main bed, this is this is just for nap time after his morning play session or training session. So it is a little bit on the cheaper side, but I thought let me just get an extra bed for him to enjoy while I work because this is like my, my morning workspace. And then I also have this cute bag. We actually got this from my boyfriend's um, parents. This is a bag they got it from Woolies but I thought this might be a great place to put all his toys in so this is a bag that we got um, you can get any kind of basket but mainly a lot of people say that you need to have a specific place for all the toys so that they can realize that it's not always playtime with the toys you can't just have access to all of the toys all the time because there's so many different ones so you need a specific place for all your toys so that's the next thing that we got Okay guys, so those are the first three things that I wanted to um, just cover and to have the house physically ready. But a lot of other things which are maybe a little bit more important was what I did this week to ensure that everything is ready for the puppy. Um, and this is very important to have ready prior to you getting your new puppy. So the first thing that I got in place was um, pet insurance. So a lot of people choose, they, there's two different ways of you know going about pet insurance and ha having a, not a medical aid specifically, but medical costs ready for if something were to happen with your pup because it is also some things are risky and they will be growing so you want to make sure that you you have the finances ready for in case something happened that you know you are covered so a lot of people choose to save up on a monthly basis and have a separate account ready for their pets and that is totally fine um i really respect that and i think that it takes a good amount of self-discipline to have that ready um but for where i am in my life I feel that a pet insurance company would be best for me to know that they are going to cover everything. I don't have to deal with any of the, you know, other paperwork and I, I just, I have no knowledge in that sense. So for me, a pet insurance company was the best way to go. And the pet insurance company that I chose was Dotcher. So um, they are based in George in the Western Cape. And I was on their website and how I chose this was, I was on a couple of websites and I was on their website probably at nine o'clock in the evening and then the next morning at eight o'clock I got a call from them so firstly they're following up strategy with their clients are on point because she gave me a call and then she started asking me about my pet how old he is what kind of breed he is all of these questions and she was then able to give me a more accurate quote um, according to what my pet's needs are so that was then different than what i saw on the website which is great because it was actually cheaper she asked me what my budget was you know all of these questions which they take into consideration when giving you a quote so that's why um um, after a lot of chatting with her, I chose to go on their plan. Um, and what I, from what I've seen, they've also been voted the best in South Africa with pet insurance. So, um, almost said best. 
Um, so that was the first thing that um, that's really important. Uh, then the second thing that I got in place in this week was also uh, puppy training school. So puppy training and what I've learned around puppies development this last week has actually been amazing because from 12 weeks to 16 weeks, it's actually the most crucial time for them to have the most socialization possible and learn about all these things and be desensitized um, of all, all of the things possible because as soon as they get past 16 weeks it gets difficult for them to adjust to new things and then they might have a fear of new things so it's also the fear period during that time but you can go about it and introducing new things in a very um, specific way to make sure that your pet is comfortable with it so I um, went online and the first thing that I was also looking for is I saw a bunch of places around the area but for me a big thing a big standout green flag for me is how does the social media look because in today's time if you want to join a growing business and you want to have more information they need to have their social media up to date because it's the 21st century like social media is really really important so what they do on their social media and how they market is really important to me um so that was the first thing that i uh, that i wanted to look for and then i found this cute place i inquired and also the service was really great i spoke to the trainer we also spoke late at night because some evenings i do work late so the only time i can do the admin is when i get home um so i was speaking to the trainer and she asked me about my puppy and you know we are starting the puppy course um actually this saturday when i'm getting my puppy now this is going to be really interesting because in the next video you'll see what happens the the course that we need to do we need to start this course on this saturday but now we're only getting the puppy on this saturday so i'm gonna go and do the first lesson of the puppy course alone without my puppy so it might look a little bit weird but I'm going to go do the course and learn from the course and then take that and implement it at home when the puppy is home and, you know, comfortable and everything. And then a last thing that I wanted to mention, which is still on the way, which I had to buy for my puppy, um, which wasn't on the list, but I, I, I just, it slipped my mind completely. And I just don't want that for, for anyone else is a traveling crate. So the crate that we have at home, it isn't really travel friendly because it is foldable, but it just, it just looks like, you know, I, I don't want to travel. It's really big and I just don't want to put that in the car. Um, it, it looks like a mission. So I need a travel crate and I completely forgot about it. So I ordered one online now and it's due to be delivered this Thursday, um, before we get the puppy. So hopefully it comes in time. And then that is going to, that is such a, safe way to be able to go anywhere with your puppy and I know you know when you get into the car it's so easy to have the puppy like on on your lap and just you know drive from point a to point b but this is this crate is important to keep your puppy safe so you can go online you can even buy one second hand um i saw on facebook marketplace they have loads of crates there you can buy in your area and um you can get one from from someone who doesn't need it anymore or who whose puppy has outgrown it so you can buy one for much cheaper if you buy second hand but i also got one on special on take a lot um so i bought one there and i'm really excited to get it because then i know that whenever i'm traveling my puppy will be safe in the back seat you know in his crate and safe and um ready to go so those are the couple of things that i wanted to share with you guys um the next thing is that this is the last video before we get our puppy so i want you guys to leave me a comment guess what breed i'm getting because this is also a big thing people have been asking me because i haven't mentioned it so i would love to know what kind of breed you guys think i'm getting i haven't dropped well i have dropped a couple of hints but not big enough so that you can you know get it on points i think oh my goodness guys i almost forgot the last thing that i need to talk to you about which i didn't even know was a thing okay dog food i know the dog food was a thing but fresh dog food like raw food versus kibble this is something that you need to go check out and do your research on i did mine and what i found which was incredibly interesting 
and I have gained so much knowledge is how much better raw food is for your dog, according to my opinion. This is all based on my opinion. Please remember that I'm not a professional in any of this. But my informed decision is to go with the raw dog food. And I ordered like, I think, seven kilograms of raw dog food. You don't have to make the food yourself. Like I was super overwhelmed. I saw this one YouTube channel and like she was making the food herself and she was weighing all the, and I was just like, I don't, I don't have time for this firstly. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I felt super overwhelmed. But the great thing is in today's time, there's so many companies that specialize in raw dog food. So this is the website that I went on. And I went on to um, this website. I was checking out all of their nutritional value. I actually saw their brand of dog food in a couple of stores. And that's when I realized that it is definitely a big brand. Um, and that's why I ordered from them directly. They are going to... Um, deliver the food to me this week. So before you get a puppy, guys, make sure that you do your research on the food that they need and the food that will be best for them and the food that will be the easiest for them to adjust to. Um, so those are the things that I would recommend. This is just my pe personal preference. And I know that it might be, it might take a little bit of time to, to switch over from kibble to the raw dog food, but I know that it's worth the change and it's worth their health. I've also, um, on the specific breed, which I al almost mentioned now, um, on the specific breed, there's loads of groups on every single breed of dog that you can possibly have. And on that Facebook group, I was I was looking at all the comments and someone did ask, okay, which, which, uh, which dog food should I get for my puppy? And um, a lot of the comments said, go raw, go raw. It was the best thing for my puppy. And I completely trust these people <laughs> because they have the same kind of dog as me. And there's so many people who said the same thing. You can't tell me that it's not good because like all of them agree, all of them are on the same page. So that is the next thing that I would urge you guys to go check out and do your research on which dog food would be the best for you, for your life and for your puppy's life to give them the absolute best that you can. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a comment. Which breed do you think I'm getting? I am so excited. The next video, you will meet my puppy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure, make sure you like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again. Have an amazing day and we'll chat soon.